So it comes to us from WFAA.com. That's right, it's not an airline story. But a Lake Worth police officer faces a lawsuit after the police department said he hit a man with his patrol SUV at 45 miles per hour while pursuing him in November of 2020. This is out of Lake Worth, Texas. The lawsuit filed in U.S. District Court in Fort Worth on Monday called Officer Jonathan Granado's dash cam footage shocking and accused Granado of intentionally hitting the plaintiff, Dustin Bates. Warning. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Now, March 4th of last year, a Tarrant County grand jury ultimately chose not to indict the officer on any criminal charges. What? Lake Worth Police Chief J.T. Manushagian spoke at a news conference Monday afternoon to address the incident. Now, the incident happened November 3rd of 2020 on Lake Worth Boulevard, where Bates on his motorcycle in eastbound lanes came to a stop at a red light at Boat Club Road. Man, you guys got some great names there. Manu Shagian said Granado pulled behind Bates in his patrol SUV, but Granado said that he could not see Bates' license plate. The lawsuit alleged Granado then gave the license plate number to dispatch. He couldn't see the license plate, but he gave the license plate number to dispatch. You guys following? When asked about his reaction to seeing the video footage, Manu Shagian said, my heart sank. What I saw in the video is not keeping with the actions we expect our officers to take. In this case, we caused injury to someone and it was due to the officer's poor judgment. The officer was considering discontinuing uh, the pursuit due to a, a loss of visual contact uh, with the suspect. But once he topped the hill and he saw a cloud of dust, he knew that the motorcycle had wrecked. That's when Granada spotted motorcyclist Dustin Bates running across the exit ramp. 
We want to warn you, what you're about to see is hard to see. But the officer continues to speed towards Bates and eventually struck him with his police vehicle. Bates did survive. Drove off the roadway, lost control, and accidentally struck Mr. Bates. The video clearly shows what he did. I mean, this wasn't an accident. In Lake Worth, I'm Scoop Jefferson. But the lawsuit alleged Granado's SUV was not sliding through the grass out of control, but instead drove in a clear curve directly into Mr. Bates under Granado's control the entire time. His civil lawsuit attorneys shared their initial reaction to the dash cam. Because I didn't know what I was going to see until I saw it. And it's just like, oh, when I was told what this video was going to be and then I actually saw it, I was just I was shocked. The attorneys named the former officer in this civil lawsuit. They're seeking punitive damages, saying Bates suffered emotional distress, torment, and mental anguish on top of his physical injuries. He broke his back. He broke his ribs. He injured him right on the spot going 45 miles an hour. So to me, this was an easy case for us to take. Those are injuries that are going to last a lifetime, even though they heal and, and the bones go back together. He's still going to have the pain. Manushagian said the internal investigation found Granado violated police conduct policies. The officers issued a two-week suspension. Bad baby, don't hit people with your car. Two weeks, no pay. A grand jury, the FBI, and an independent investigation by the Grand Prairie Police Department cleared Granada of any criminal wrongdoing for what the dash cam video shows. Still, Granada resigned on December 1st. And the police chief remains at odds with Bates' attorneys, whether this was intentional or accidental. But listen to what this says. The lawsuit claims... A detailed conversation that Bates had with another officer, James O'Bannon, after the crash. When Bates told O'Bannon that Granado hit him with his car, O'Bannon replied, probably shouldn't have run then. <laughs> shoulder to shoulder, blue line, standing tall. Protect the guy next to you. Don't speak up. Because he should have said, did you hit him with your car? Why? That's what I would have said. That's why I can't be a cop, because I'd end up getting shot in the back by one of my own fellow friendly fire, because they'd be like, that idiot right there always speaks up. I'm going to be friendly fire. But a lot of people think we can't chase motorcycles, a Bannon allegedly told Bates, according to the lawsuit. That's wrong. We can and we will. Welcome to Lake Worth. Okay, you can chase motorcycles, but you can't run the guy down when he's on foot with your car. So it goes on from there. Um... The chief does address the comments made by O'Bannon and says the quote does not reflect the attitudes and principles of our department. So the chief is trying to like, you know, say these guys did wrong, but this two week suspension, no criminal charges, two weeks for hitting a guy with his car. <laughs> you or I did that, it would be attempted manslaughter. 